So I've had uh, eight gigundas. It goes around the front of the house. You can't even see it. Um, poplar and lily poplars dropped. They were all bigger than that. That's the baby of the bunch. Um, well, actually, there's one of them out front there. But um, so I've got, you know, all the wood cut up. Got rid of the huge logs. Um, timber company took them. And uh, so I've got all of this to clean up by myself. But I just want to show you guys something. Um, you know, the, the newer tractor is a 2380 Kubota. This is an old 2350. They've got the uh, third function, I think they call it for the hydraulics, where you can put those uh, grapple hooks on them for grab a brush and stuff. And, and honestly, that would just be the catch me out for this kind of work. But I can't do that on this tractor, at least without spending a lot of money. So I had these uh, forklift uh, pilot arms here, and I wanted to show you how I've been using these to move those brush piles. Um, not, not the most ideal situation, not the best. I, you know, I do lose a little bit of stuff. But honestly, it, it is saving me a ton of work. So I just wanted to throw it out there in case somebody never thought of this. And they have an older tractor like me that doesn't have that, uh, you know, third hydraulic function. Where they can't put the grapples on them. So, you know, for a couple hundred dollars, you can use something like these. But uh, I'm going to show you here. Um, I'm going to grab that and uh, take it back and just dump it in the woods. So I want to show you something that if anybody does decide to buy these um, forklift arms and you don't have a detachable bucket, what will happen is that you really change the fulcrum point on these tractors. And you take a look at this, I mean that's maybe 200 pounds of material but because it is sticking so far out and i don't have a ballast for this look how easy that ass end comes off so you've got to be really careful of that Just wanted to show you guys, you know, I, th I don't remember what I paid for those. I think it was maybe $150, something like that. So literally what I just did right there, it took me probably four minutes. And uh, had I had to do that with a whirl barrel or, you know, even hooking up a trailer and, and, and shoveling into it, it, it would have taken me probably 45 minutes or so. So. These things are just outstanding for this kind of work. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right. Have a good one, everybody.